right, a group is ramping up opposition to a proposed quarry in Parley's Canyon. And public comment now open on that proposal, which opponents say would hurt the environment, and they're getting some prominent support in their fight. Daniel Woodruff has the story. It's right over there where Granite Construction wants to open a gravel pit. The company says it's necessary to help Utah grow, but some worry it will lead to major problems. A few miles up Parley's Canyon, Scott Williams yeah. spends a lot of time. It's quiet. He has a cabin in a remote area known as Mount Air, but he worries this picturesque place will change if a proposed quarry gets the green light. If this mountain gets uh, excavated and torn up, it just changes the, the quality of life in Salt Lake County. The Utah Division of Air Quality says it intends to approve a plan from California-based granite construction to open a quarry. It's one of several steps in this process, but first, the public has a chance to comment. In a statement, Granite told me it's committed to high standards and will use emission-friendly equipment, adding, modeling results from the permitting process show that the I-80 South Quarry is very unlikely to even approach minor air air quality source emissions thresholds. It impacts air quality. Fraser Bullock, who's leading the effort to bring the Olympics back to Utah, disagrees with the quarry plan. We're going to have hundreds of thousands of people from around the world visiting us, and is one of the first experiences they're going to have this massive gravel pit that they're going to see along this canyon. The project also faces opposition from Salt Lake County, which last year voted to ban any new mining operations in the Wasatch Mountains. The company sued, and the case is currently tied up in court. Granite says Utah is growing and needs construction materials that a quarry here would provide. But Scott says there are bigger questions. We're going to need to make some of these hard choices about whether we pay a little bit more to maintain the things that we love about this area or whether we just allow things to continue to just get torn up. If you'd like to submit a public comment about the proposed quarry, we have information on how to do that at KUTV.com. Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.